uh, the way field goal protection works, everybody has to be in unison. You know, it's all interlocked in. Uh, when you have one guy that's off or two guys that are off, you get a little crease. Um, and so our left tackle, who uh, has done a really good job for us so far this season, just kind of got a little leaning forward, didn't get his outside arm up. Our end, you know, his job is to kind of interlocked in by that tackle and make sure he has that heavy, heavy weight foot on the inside foot so he doesn't get pried out um, and also get a good arm hook. When you get a little crease like that, uh, you know, a good rusher like 51, he's able to get in there. You know, he's a, um, a talented pass rusher. He's a really talented rusher on field goal block as well. Um, it was a guy that we emphasized all week. Um, you know, he almost blocked one the week before. So he's a talented rusher. Um, but, uh, again, just not great execution, and that's on me. You know, it's something we got to be much cleaner. Um, it's something that's just something we'll work on a ton, and it's been, uh, it's, it's been addressed, and we're, we're moving forward with it. Yeah, I mean, anytime something like that happens and, and you're an impact in a negative way in a game, um, uh, yes, it is frustrating, and, and, and everybody's frustrated. It, you know, it's not just me, uh, but that's ball. You know, it's like that's something that, as a coach, i got to make sure it comes to execution, and if it's not executed completely correct, that's on me. I 100% uh, think that was the issue. Um, and you talk to those guys, their eyes are on the ball, and sometimes you lose sight of the importance of leverage. You know, and, and we've done a fantastic job of co you know, covering kicks with great leverage and really pinning them deep. And, and even in that game, we had a tackle inside the 15-yard line on a kickoff coverage with great leverage. So um, that's something we emphasize a ton. But sometimes when that ball goes on the ground and all you can think of is, I'm going to be the guy that makes this play. I'm going to dive in there and get it. And, uh, you know, and it didn't work out. Uh, you know, obviously lost leverage, bad tackling. We lost our mind. Um, and it's some, same thing, bad ex execution. It's on me. And, and, and the good part about it, I think, is we have a really good group. We, we, we were a top 10 group analytically last year. We've been fantastic this year as, you know, prior to this game. We've been an impact and an impact great plays in a positive way since we've been here. Guys have been fantastic, and I don't remember ever having any negative plays like that. It just so happens we had two tough plays in the same game, so it feels terrible that we were a big part of it. Um, but the cool thing is I've had more guys come to my office and, and say, Coach, i got to do better. That's my fault. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, I let our guys down. I let you down. And so that's the cool part is – the guys are accountable. They care. They're, it's important to them. And, and, and the focus at practice this week has been fantastic. It was just kind of a, a wake-up call of, hey, let's get back to what we do. Let's get back to playing good ball that we've done on special teams here. And, and like I said, I love our group. Our group's been fantastic. Two, two bad plays, hated them. I, I really, it's, it's tough to deal with as a coach. But I, I, our guys, it, it matters to them. And, and, and we want to be a big impact in a positive way. Uh, and just get back to doing that because we've done that. You know, you go back to the Lions game. You know, Ags has a big return. You know, the Kansas City game. You know, Ross had a tackle inside the 10. We had Tim Jones had a great play on a muff, on muff punt. So we've done some really cool things. Like I said, it just feels terrible because we kind of let our team down. Yeah, but the, the way our kickoff coverage works is our twos on the backside, and even our kickside twos, their 100% job is to keep the ball on the inside. So we have to keep it leveraged on the inside. Yes, we lost a guy or two on the inside, but where we lost the coverage is when you get it outside and nobody's out there. You know, anytime you lose it, there's, it's designed, they're contained. They have to keep it inside. And then, and then we had a missed tackle, you know, by the backside safety. You'd love to get them down right there. They got, you know, the... the the, the fullback made a fantastic play, but we got to find a way to get him down. Just find a way to get him down. You mentioned Ross made, made a tackle inside the 10. I, he seems to make a lot of plays on punt coverage. Is that kind of out of the ordinary for a long time? Because I don't see very many long snappers that down there making plays on 
Yeah, and it's something, uh, you know, it's funny is we have a lot of fun within our room and, 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 and I, we actually show the, the tackle, uh, you know, um, long snapper tackle board. And right now he's tied for first. So it's something we have a lot of fun with. They, 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 they love Ross. And so it's been a little, uh, a little deal, deal with them. Can we see if he can lead the, lead the league in tackles? And, and it's a big part of what he does, you know, what we do in our coverage. He's been fantastic. At some point, though, uh, other coordinators are going to probably start blocking him, uh, you know, and, and not treating him like a snapper. Which is a cool. It's a it's a respect for him as far as the way he's covered. He he's covering fantastic. And McMahon's missed the one kick. Is there anything there, or is it just the just didn't hit it right? Just didn't hit it good, and he knows right away. It's funny is I've never had a kicker that as he swings, you can hear him groan because he knows it's not right. So I, I see it every day in practice when he does miss it. So he knows instantly just by his swing without even looking up it goes in, and so he knows right away. And um, you know he has the ability to make those adjustments. He's been. He's been good. You know, it's, a, it's another guy. He's been really good up to this game. And so he missed the kick. We let him down. You know, I let him down as far as protection. Uh, but I, I'm not concerned at all. He's been fantastic, uh, you know, the first two games. Jacob Harris called him up to play special and special teams for you. How do you think he did? And what kind of lesson did that talk about the he, he, He's been great since we got him in the offseason. He had a good training camp. Um, he's done a good job as a gunner. And um, we're hoping to get him up more often. Um, unfortunately, he was on the backside of on that kickoff coverage, which was a little uh, a little disappointing for me. But uh, he's a guy that cares, and he, and, he, and he wants it so bad. And he was one of those guys that was diving in there, trying. He just wants to make a play. It's his first time being up in a long time. He hadn't played since he was with the Rams, uh, you know, a million games ago. And so he's just trying to make a play. And, 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 and that's part of coaching is getting these guys settled down, let the plays come. Hey, the plays will come when we just let them come to us. We'll, we'll one play at a one play at a time. We'll come back in this game. Can't force it though.